everybody. I uh, thought to give you a little update on our cabin. Uh, one thing I thought I'd mention is about uh, the books that I've read. Now my dad taught me many years ago that you can learn to do just about anything from books. And so I thought I'd share with you some of the books that I picked up uh, before we started this project. The first one is How to Build This Cabin for $3,000. Uh, written by John McPherson. I have some of his other books on primitive skills, uh, brain tanning, buckskin, uh, uh, making shelters, fire, cordage, etc. Very interesting if you're into those into that subject. This book shows how he built this cabin for three thousand dollars. One of the reasons I got this book is we're doing this without credit. Uh, we pay as we go, and so it'd be very helpful to know how to. Uh, use some techniques that, that can save you some money. Some very helpful hints in this book. This is the Foxfire book. Um, if you're interested in uh, um, the Appalachian uh, people's culture, very interesting series. There's about 11 of them in the series. This is the first of the series and it's written by students up in Appalachia who are recording the the lifestyle and the culture of the Appalachian old timers. Uh, for example, in this book it goes into hog dressing, uh, log cabin building, hence the reason why I have this book, mountain crafts and foods, planting by the signs, snake lore, hunting tales, faith healing, and my favorite, moonshining. Uh, this goes into uh, the old timers methods of making moonshine, how they built their stills, and also some very interesting stories about their run-ins with the law. Uh, in the book is how they built log cabins in the old days. Some very interesting techniques. Now when we built our log cabin, we, just, we didn't want to build a kit. We didn't want you know something that, that, that looks modern. We wanted an old-fashioned cabin, something that looks um, authentic. And so that's part of uh, what we're doing here and one of the reasons why I got this book. The next one is build your own low-cost log home. Uh, very good about uh, everything from breaking ground to putting the roof on, plumbing, etc. And it has a lot of detailed uh, pictures and drawings on the entire process. The next one is the complete guide to building log homes. Uh, 840 illustrations. Again, very helpful from everything from breaking ground to putting in your plumbing, electrical, uh, the walls, how to put doors, windows in, etc. So like I said, I got all of these books, I read them, studied them, also went on the internet, I learned as much as I could, and then I'm also learning as we go. As you can see, we've got, uh, basically this is our, our second course that's going in. We have this log from the front door to the corner in, it's all notched, ready to go. This one is not notched yet, uh, but it's going in notice that it's not level, it's not straight, and that's okay. Uh, one of the unique things about building a home like this is that you're, you're building a character into it. You take into account all of its curves, all of its knots, uh, and when you're placing your log, you're putting it in a position that you want it in. And it makes for a very interesting looking home. Uh, a kit log home is, everything's going to be perfect. They're all uniform uh, lengths, uniform thicknesses, uh, authentic log homes aren't going to be like that. You're working with trees that are never really straight. They're never perfect and so you, you uh, um, take that into account as you're building. As I said, this is our, our front door. We've got some of the subfloor in, uh, one length of it. Uh, this is going to be 60 feet long, it's 30 feet wide, about 1,700 square feet. It's technically not a cabin uh, because of its size, but we still like to call it the log cabin. Here we have the main room. This is what, what people call a great room. The front part's gonna be the uh, living room. The back part is gonna be the kitchen. Okay, and then over here in the far corner is the uh, master bedroom. We'll have a door off to the deck in the back as well. So as you can see, it's starting to go up. And hopefully the next update, uh, we'll have the, all the subfloor in and hopefully the walls up. And this is my cameraman again, Jedediah. And that was the video that he wanted to show you of an update. Uh, bye.